grow with freedom with real life examples. In this episode, I am going to walk you through three channels that I am going to personally review on camera with you and we will look at these channels and see what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, and maybe what they can tweak just a little bit. I would like to focus that these are my personal opinions as an experienced YouTuber, and there is, of course, room for creative differences and things like that. So let's go ahead, jump to the Freedom Channel, where I'm going to go into the comments and I'm going to randomly select people who have commented on Freedom videos, and we will look at those channels. So let's go ahead, jump to the desktop and do that now. All right, so here we are on the Freedom channel. We're going to go ahead and go to a recent video. Uh, Shoe Nice is back. We are going to pause that video. And we will randomly, actually I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know how far to go down. We're going to randomly choose uh, this channel here. Very first thing I noticed right off the bat is the high contrast of the banner, Blizzcrut. This channel actually isn't doing a whole lot wrong. Everything is very high contrast, very easily read. Um, I'm not sure, as a first time viewer, how to pronounce uh, Blizzcrut, Blizzcrut, but that's okay. I'm sure that there is explanation in the audio of the videos. The next thing that I notice as a very first time visitor to this channel is that the thumbnails are not necessarily themed. These thumbnails could belong to anyone. There is a common font, which is a very good thing, and it can help someone recognize the content right off the bat. However, there could be more to it. There could be an entire side panel to the thumbnail that is placed just for branding reasons. There can be something off to the side in the corner of the video uh, just to denote you know, who it belongs to, a logo, anything really. Let's go ahead, jump into one of these videos and see how the description of the videos are laid out. Actually, I see a lot going on that this channel has going for it. First off, we see that there are a lot of links, short links at that. Short links are great for YouTubers for a couple of reasons. First off, it keeps everything nice and neat. Uh, it also allows for statistics tracking. Uh, I'm not very familiar with Bitly. However, if it's anything like Google short links, it allows you to track your, your usage and see how many people are clicking through. So for instance, if I see in one month, I've had 100 people click through to my Facebook, but only gotten a handful of likes. I know that my Facebook page needs a little bit of work because people are not interacting with it the way that I would hope that they would. So that's another thing just to keep in mind. Links are great, but short links will help you track how many people are visiting versus how many interactions you've got. So there's that. Also, I am seeing that there's a decent amount of text here, and I believe I won't know for sure yet until we choose another video, but I believe that this is a uh, part of his, what you call boilerplate. And that's a very good thing to have, just kind of a set of text that's always there in every description to not only link your content together, but also to allow people to see your content um, and see what's going on with your channel. This text also helps link your content with AdSense and other uh, miscellaneous YouTube features that will help you raise your CPM and get more views through related video content. Speaking of more views through related video content, this particular user, Blizzcrut, uh, is using uh, decent tags, not necessarily the best. There will shortly be a video on school showing you a different tagging method that may work better for all of you. So keep an eye out for that. All right, let's choose one more video. Uh, let's choose this one from back in March. I see good and I see bad. Very first thing I could say about this description, it's good, there's content there, there's links to interact. However, it looks like recently, this user has enabled uh, a more of a default uh, description, but he hasn't updated his previous videos. So that is something to keep in mind. If you change your descriptions, as far as the stuff that's always there, go back 
and do your previous videos. It will always help. And again, we see here a lot of one word tags. One word tags are okay, but keep in mind as far as relevancy goes, multiple word tags may help you in the long run because it's going to make your content a lot more relevant as long as it is something that deals with your video. Before we leave this channel, I do want to check the about page. The about page on this, uh, it's great that it's there. It's great that it is, um, it, he's got information here, but he does something that a lot of gamers do on YouTube. And that is that he's using it as a place to just kind of shove information. You don't want to use this as a place to just shove information off to the side and go, ah, go check that out. No, this should be something that helps draw viewers into your channel. Remember, channels are discoverable in YouTube search, and also there are related video recommendations. The first two to three lines should be the most engaging out of all. And if you're going to do any kind of list, it should be further down on the page. You want to be able to give someone a very well worded and keyword rich description in the first four to five lines. If you don't know what I mean by keywords, some people call them tags, but they are in essence things that deal with your channel, either single or multiple word keywords. One more thing before we leave this channel, uh, you can see here that there are in fact playlists on this channel, but they're not linked in the description of the videos. This is very important for everyone to realize. Playlists should always be linked in the description of your videos. That way people can discover them. If they come to your video first, they can find the playlist and then they continue watching, which raises your watch time and in the long run makes you look like a better YouTuber to Google. Here we are back on the Freedom Channel in the comments section and I am going to choose uh, this channel here called Muslim Games. Uh, right off the bat, as soon as I click through to his videos, I can tell that this is a fitness-based channel. There may be some miscellaneous vlogs and how-tos dealing with fitness. That is my first impression. Let's go ahead, go down in the videos, in the descriptions, see if that holds true. All right, uh, I do not have audio at the moment, so this is fairly uh, useless to us. However, I do see uh, that Oh goodness, he is using the NETV uh, slash Freedom video bar. Very good. For those of you not aware, this will help you gain watch time on your videos. It's something you should look into and there is a full tutorial on the school channel about it. So, clicked through on a video, found out that yes, this is indeed about bodybuilding, fitness, and of course vlogging. So I was right with my initial impression that the art gave me. Uh, so, we are going to go down. Let's check out the descriptions. Ah, very, very good things here in the description. Uh, there is an email address to be contacted. Um, multiple social networks listed. Uh, short links would be nice. The music that he uses is, in fact, uh, attributed in the description. That is absolutely wonderful. Now, he's got a subscribe link here. A lot of people don't know about this, but you can craft a link on YouTube that automatically subscribes you to a channel. Again, this would best be done with a Google short link because uh, when a link's cut off like that, people may be suspicious. The entire point of this as a YouTuber is, for instance, when we click through, it automatically asks us, would you like to subscribe to the channel? Uh, you can do this one of many ways. You can either say subscribe or check out more of my content and then give the link. Uh, if you would like something on this and how to do this, let me know in the comment section down below and we will do a video on that probably on the school channel later. Again, with this channel, I am not seeing any playlist links in the descriptions of these videos. It appears as if this channel is making decent use of tags. As you can see here, we've got a few multiple word tags, uh, possibly not as well pinpointed as it could be. However, uh, definitely not doing anything wrong. As you can see by the view count, he is definitely uh, hitting some target audience. Whether it's where he wants to be or not, that's another question that he, only he can answer. As far as the overall art of the channel, I would say that uh, there are a few things that he could do to help out and, and help with the distinction here. High contrast 
thumbnails are gonna be best. It seems that there are a lot of images of people here, which is good and it's bad, as long as the video deals with these people. I would caution you to not use images of people that you don't have permission to. That can get you in trouble. Also, as far as text, try to keep it high contrast and as instantly identifiable as possible, just like we have in this particular playlist, and not so much like we have on the Ice Water Challenge. It's a little, there's a lot going on there, and it could be hard to read at a glance. Also, there is nothing really tying these images together. They don't seem very cohesive as a whole, which can hurt you if people are looking through this in their subscriber box and they don't automatically recognize that this video belongs to you, a creator they care about. Also, last note before I leave this channel, as far as the uh, art in the background, you could possibly do something to spice this up, maybe images to the left or to the right where you have white space, or if indeed that it was your intention to utilize white space, you've done a decent job of that. Just a question of whether that's what you were going for or not. All right, back in the comments section on the Freedom Channel, we are going to choose this one. All right, Clanman Clash, another gaming channel. Let's go ahead, let's take a look at the videos on this. Well, the first thing I notice is this. There's no background, there's no cohesive art that really ties anything together. You might want to go ahead and get a channel background there. Just food for thought. Uh, looks like you haven't set up your uh, your channel page much at all. You may want to look into getting a channel trailer. You may also want to look into setting your playlists so they show by default on this page. That will only help you. Going into videos, a couple things I noticed right off the bat. These thumbnails look like they are automatically generated from the content itself. It doesn't look like you're using YouTube's system for custom thumbnails. So you may want to look into that. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything fancy, but it should definitely be high contrast and it should also be recognizable as your own. Taking a look at some of the descriptions on this channel, we can see that there is actually very little in the way of text. Remember, text in your description is a good thing. Text in your description allows you to tell people and Google and YouTube what your content is about. People can only discover your content on YouTube either A, if someone recommends it to them, or B, if somehow Google recommends it to them through search related videos or whatever. The only way that that second thing can happen is if you provide good information about what your content is about. And that's something that you may need to work on as well as more social links in your descriptions. Remember, you may not be on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. However, your fans most likely are. So if you're really looking to grow, you want to be in these places and you want to help people find these places. Here on your about page, we notice a couple of things. First off, you haven't recommended any other channels that you enjoy on YouTube. You always want to do this, even if it's only friends, family, or people that you've met through Freedom. You always want to recommend channels. They may in fact recommend you back. This is a sort of networking that can help your channel grow. YouTube is all about forming relationships, and that's something you definitely want to focus on and spend time on. Also, as I've said previously with some of the other channels, more text! YouTube itself is all about video. However, when it comes to discovery, when it comes to people being able to find you, the more text you give, the more relevant information you put out there in text in a way that Google and YouTube can read, the more people will be able to find you. And you will also have a huge leg up on anyone else who uses very sparse or low amounts of detail. I know that some of this information may sound familiar to what I've given other people, but keep in mind, that doesn't mean it's not a good solution. It just means that more than one person may need to work on the same thing. So what do you think of our very first YouTube channel reviews segment? Do you like this? Would you like us to continue doing this? If so, let us know in the comments section down below. 
Until next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments please. Click the first video for a fireside chat with George where he shares our future and how he grew from $20,000 to $120,000 in just one month. And click the second video to see how to monetize all of your videos with just a few clicks to enable all ad formats and monetize in all countries. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids.